to do it now because I'm broadcasting. So if you're hot. Bye, Polo. So, um, if you're a hunter, you want to switch to your uh, gunslinger so that you have triple jump. You want to jump to this weird little space that's right here. It doesn't look like much. Okay, so there's... Oh, no worries. So there's this ledge right here. This is your first point of contact. So you want to jump to there. And when you do the triple jump, you have to space it out really far. From there, you're going to, like, one hop it to here. Uh, when you're actually on the ledge, when you look at this part of the wall, it's going to be a black and gray line. You want to aim for the black and gray line. It's kind of one of those weird invisible ledges. So you want to just go from here, aim for the black and uh, gray line, go to here. From here is the tricky part. There's this little spot in the hill right here. This is where if you're a hunter or a, a titan, you can jump straight from the bottom to this gap right there. From this ledge where we're at, you can jump to this gap and, and fit in there. So what you have to do as a hunter is you have to go from this spot here, triple jump your way across all the way to this little gap. When you get to, it's kind of a, a tricky thing because um, and make sure you have your highest, make sure you have your highest jump too as a, a titan. Make sure you have your highest jump. Hunters can't make that jump, but if you're a titan, you can make that jump right there as long as you have your higher, your higher jump on. And then so as a hunter, as soon as your feet touch, you know how your triple jump can reactivate. So sometimes you'll make it here. You won't actually catch the ledge and land in it. But as soon as your feet touch it, your triple jump will activate again. So then you can triple jump to up to here. And when you go from here, you're going to go to the top of the mountain part right here. And then after you get to there, I'm going to fall down because I can't see it. But uh, there's a, a cliff right here that you're going to jump onto. And then from there, you just triple jump straight up to the ledge up top on the tower. If you're a warlock, you can just... Uh, let me see where I'm at. I have to go back to your guys' angle because it's kind of hard to do explain that when I'm down here and can't see the ledges. That's rude. <laughs> um, warlocks kind of have a fun floating experience with it. I feel like they can um, do it really well. But a, a warlock can actually go from this ledge straight to this point here. From there, they can uh, actually float and land in the dip over there. Um, and then they just do the same process once you get up top. It's all the same process once you get to that top area. Um, the one thing I would say being very careful of is these rocks that are down here. If you fall off that ledge and you land on these rocks just wrong, you'll die. It's so stupid, but yeah, if you land on them wrong, you'll die. And it's mostly important um, for hard mode. Like, I tend to do hard mode. Hey, Stormborn. Um, I tend to do hard mode this way where none of us, because you can't wipe or, or, and come back, you know? So um, this is how I tend to do the hard mode stuff. I need to go to this.